Welcome back to Pirates Ahoy! I want to get back across the bridge, but... Yeah, we're going to have to go behind this person. So I did look up a hint, and we do need to get to the armor. So I just need to get across the bridge and down, and maybe we can find a way into the armor. I don't know. One thing that's at least... At least that's what I believe. One thing that's confusing is apparently different things are in different places on different difficulty levels. And of course people aren't clear about the hints for that. <clears throat> uh, when they're giving hints. So, about which difficulty level they're related to. So I'm not 100% sure my information is accurate for this difficulty level. But I guess we'll find out. I was going to say, whoop, they're going away. No, he's just turned around. All right. Um, yeah, we need to go down there and immediately, right. But uh, unless there's a back door there. The armor was locked, though, right? How am I supposed to get in there if it's locked? I am slightly confused here. Right. Window of opportunity. Yeah. That's the armor, huh? Maybe one of these windows opens? What was that? Doesn't look like it. You need a nap. You won't be so spooked then. And that door was also locked, right? What's that? Thought I saw something. Probably just the wind. Seems quiet enough now. You catch oh. that? Yeah, that's not gonna get me anywhere. from east back here again. Alright, well let's get around there and see if we can't maybe Are you are you alright there ma'am? Yes. Okay, Anyone good. There? Good. So I wasn't sure if you were alright, you're just kinda of standing there strangely, but <laughs> if you're telling me you're alright, then I'll believe you. the armor of that door there as well, right? Did I check that door? Maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't check the back door. Hmm. So I went into the dairy. Maybe that's, uh, well it's got a handle, but maybe it's not a door. Terrible timing. <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> See, you made a big mistake, Tapper. I think I'm gonna go swimming. Curse your eyes! <laughs> I'm closing in, Tapper. Well, everybody's alerted to my presence, and I have no tools. No flash bombs, no blackjack. I just hope they forget about me relatively quickly.
Also, if I could get back around to that same area while they're still searching over there, I can do this quickly and quietly. I might be able to just get in while they're still searching for me. Shit, they're gonna make it hard, aren't they? <sighs> yeah, it's good. I'm not gonna have enough time. Hey, hello? Anyone there? What's that? He saw me. So now I'm out a speed potion and being chased again. Maybe I can find a way for someone. Ring of three lockpicks? How many lockpicks do I need? Ring of five lockpicks. Hang on, mate, I'm gonna read a book. Business is going better than ever before. What a good idea it was to trade with Captain Hunt. He obtains all the goods I want, duty free and for a good price. <laughs> I know that he's a pirate and smuggler, but as long as the price is right, I don't care. And if he gets caught, I can always pretend to be as innocent as a choir boy. Of course, I don't know anything about it. And that blind sheriff with his drunken footmen is oblivious to everything. I just have to be careful that Peter does not see through my game. If he does, I'll be forced to raise his salary to make sure that he holds his tongue. So it's Peter that's chasing me now. Oh shit. I didn't see the blue coat there. I'll turn you up soon enough. This is gonna be I can't do this with two of them. <laughs> I can't run rings around two of them at once. Alright. Back to the canal. Back to the canal. We can we can break in there later, we've got the lockpicks we can go anywhere now. No, we have. I guess that's a success. I guess that's a success. Just not a stylish one. <sighs> okay. So maybe we can probably get to the bookshop if I can, if I can get there. But nah, it can be dangerous getting there, right? If they're searching for me there, they're going to be. On high alert, they're gonna see me if I try and get across the bridge. Okay, now if I swim out around the other way. You can be able to get through the uh, through the passage. And cross the river that way. Say again? She's she searching for me. She heard me splashing and started searching. Well, that's too, too high. I can't run out there. Really? Damn, that was low. Flower shop. 
It's a dark shop. You know, lock it after me. Dead. All right. Might try the bookshop back door. I think it's less well guarded. What was that? Although maybe, uh, maybe the front door. That's the passageway through, right? Yeah. Oh, we've got two different rings of lockpicks, okay. Sir, was that you? Oh, the bookseller is home. It has automatically closing doors. Can't hide in that corner. Old teacup? How decadent. I don't know if he comes in here, but uh, if he does, let's hope he doesn't turn the light back on. A few days ago, that strange Lord Carlton was here. He hasn't been here very often before. Reading doesn't seem to be his forte, but he has plenty of crazy ideas. He's firmly convinced that the old map I inherited from my great-grandfather shows the location of a treasure, and he tried to coax me into giving him the map, and for a laughably small cat if he was successful. I showed him the door, lord or not. I won't ever trust him with my precious map. That Philistine would probably wrap fish in it on the trip. My map stays hidden, and those who believe in old fairy tales of treasure islands are beyond anybody's help. Your map is hidden, huh? I am intent to find it. Oh, I thought I could turn the lamp off, but no. Got a string in it, a full string and everything. So where's can't you settle down, man? So he goes into that room there. When he comes out, he goes around to the front rooms. He doesn't stay in there for long, okay. Mmm, <clears throat> big salami. Bedroom. Not very dark, but maybe dark enough. Oh, well. Dark enough if we do that, that's for sure. Now, do you maybe have a secret switch right here somewhere? Guarding a hiding place? Maybe not.
Well, he has plenty of loot, so that's... That's a positive thing. I didn't understand why there's always a draft here. I've had the window sealed again, but apparently the draft is still there. I guess those in the front are simply closing on all on their own. That explains why the front door is closed. It's just the draft. Nice. On the one hand, it's quite handy because the customers always forget to close the door, and this way I'm not hitting the outdoors. On the other hand, it almost scares me to death every time the doors close by themselves. I wonder if this place is haunted. Maybe by the ghost of my great-grandfather who brought back that strange treasure map with him and built this house. Then again, I'm probably just tired and hopelessly overworked. Ow. Ah, that's the back door. Do you think the place might be haunted? There's a strange draft. Question or not? My question is not so much about the draft, it's about where are you hiding your map? Surely the two aren't correlated, because you'd be aware of the... Uh... What are you doing in here? Are you checking on your map's hiding place or what? Oh, he's got a key. His name is W. Turner. William Turner, no doubt. Oh, hello. Let's check this. Uh -huh. Is that just suspicious or is it just not set up to be destructible? So hard to tell. I'm going to be hanging around by the fire and to hear him coming. Wait till he comes and goes. Check the fireplace a little more thoroughly. Um. This again seems to be have ample room for hiding things, but uh, we don't have any. Just just feel the treasure map. We don't have any direction, right? Oh, hello, Skem Aussie Art Sen. Very suspicious title. Very suspicious title. Hello. Is that your great grandfather's skull? Here's the treasure map. Treasure Island. Wow, okay. Treasure is there. It's an extremely detailed map. Far more than I expected. Can we close that again? We can. Alright, good news. We've got the map. We've got this guy's key, so we can lock his doors again, I guess. Now, I haven't been everywhere in here, right? There's the other front room I haven't checked out, so there might be some more loot. So, I want to go out the back door. Well, I have lockpicks now. There was another door up there to lockpick, so sure, let's go out the back door. Although, no, I want to go back to the marketplace. Back to the marketplace. Did he go in that door? I can't... No, that's where he's going, coming and going. That's, that's a cupboard. A oh, bookshelf's there, not that door. Oh, he's taking his time today. Here he comes. What do I see there? Oh, wait. I got confused as to where he was. Shit, there's another one. Coming back. Oh, maybe it did go to the other. The other front room, I can't remember. <laughs> Let's see if I could lean into the window and. Oh, 
find anything in the Windows display. Oh yes, I click on here and install all the valuables. We're done in here. Alright, so I just need to wait for it to come back out. And then we'll head out the back door. Well, I changed my mind. I was going to go out the front door, wasn't I? Mm. Conveniently going to close itself while I'm uh, hunting for the keys. Okay, so west to the market. And cross the bridge again, of course. Well, we can cross the bridge this time. Hello? One of those people having seen me is uh, they're all going to be much more on alert. Including this guy, I think. What? Nothing. Ugh, you need a nap. You really Don't do. Be so spooked then. All oh, right, I get in here now. Who's there? Oh, she's she's all confused again. Where's my lockpicks? to go. <clears throat> she gonna see me here? Somewhat dark. doesn't feel safe. <coughs> I thought he was going to come at, come at me. Alright, this is the weapon shop key, right? This is not the, this is a different, not the armor, not the same armorer as was making the lockpicks. Uh, 
Um, mate, can you give me a minute? I'm, I'm. Die! You're going down. See? Oh shit! This isn't where I wanted to come. you get there? Ow! Oh. oh wow, they're all after me now. Oh, we've got the keys. We've still got the keys. You just unlocked it. I'm gonna need a blackjack replacement. Too sweet. What? How are there three guards in there? One of them just kind of appeared. Right, I can't swim out there. I've got to get to the ladder. That's alright. I can get to the ladder. Where's all my tomatoes and pears? You know what? Just eat all my food here. Maybe I do need 37 tomatoes, so you know, I don't think I'm going to be taking that kind of damage. I think that's all my food now. Yep. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll try and break into the toy shop, which is hopefully unguarded. Give the one flash mine. Oh, the ducklings, teddy bears. All the toys except the talking doll, which is just gonna say, Mama, we can't give him the train. And we can give him a rocking horse. Big. I don't think we can take the blocks. Okay. Uh. I think ferrying all of this will be a problem, right? Let's put these ducks back on the shelf. And the teddy bears back on the shelf. That'll do. Kind of inconvenient balance. Alright. We will bring the rocking horse and the doll. So if we get west from here, oh, it's the cemetery. You know what, maybe we should check out the cemetery while I'm here. Yeah, I've got time. I've got the lockpicks. Oh. Can't pick the lock, all right. I need to shut the, the front door though. Hopefully the cops aren't gonna find it suspicious. That you? Hmm, must be one of them grubbers again. Always grubbers around at night. Who'd I see there? Oh, you get no medals for false alarms. What's that? Anything in this park? Anything in this built house? A cafe?
We'll have a look. I have a lot of loot to collect. Haven't got any sound of uh, guards. More food or some bread. Nothing there that's valuable. Tea. Oh, cake. It's not healing cake. Oh, a beautiful gold dishware. I mean, it's strange for it to have that highly valuable. I guess it's not highly valuable, right? We've got 1887, 1902. Well, it's 15 gold. Yeah, okay. It's just, just cheap gold plating, I guess. Uh, where's the other girl that I can hear? There. Alright, so we need to collect our rocking horse and they're going back. And we need to go this way to get to the green bruises. Gets still there searching. Yikes. Oh, and we should be able to get in this door now. Complete. Range the local weapon shop and equip yourself. Okay, I mean, I haven't equipped myself. Rope arrows, rope arrows, okay. Maybe this guy's got a blackjack. Don't see me. <coughs> He's not even coming in here, good. Gas? Gas arrows? Flash bombs? Crossbow? As much as I'd like a big buck of crossbow, it's not. Uh, I guess it's not really the weapon of choice for a thief. Three gas arrows? Wow, okay. Now what I don't know is, is my equipment going to carry over to the next mission? The answer is probably, so probably need to be careful about what I spend. What's that sound? Strange. Could have sworn there was something there, right? Beautiful. Can I reach the fruit? Mm, well, less beautiful. Stare at the ceiling so I don't have to accidentally throw anything else, right? Where's, where's that apple? Still need to rob the rest of the weapon shop. Uh, so, where am I now? Rock 
fucking horses. No, I'm sorry. We're heading east. Right. So I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna make a note. Yeah, weapons shop. Oh, the other thing I should mark while I'm marking stuff on my map is that we need a key for the cemetery. And, uh... There's an awful lot of food. Are we supposed to be collecting food for the entire voyage? Do we have... Do we need a certain amount? Because, uh... Pretzels, bread rolls... Loads of bread. I can't see what's on that. Oops. Right, can you? <laughs> hey, getting close to the loot goals. Twenty-five hundred, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't think. It, oh, rolling, rolling pin might work as blackjack. Ah, might do a bit more damage than a typical uh, blackjack, or leave more, leave more visible bruises at any rate. <laughs> there we are. So I can go back to the armourers now and uh, knock people out. Hello. Oh, all right. That's useful. So that we can go through. Baker is at home. Are they just chill in there. I might notice if some of their valuables go missing, will they? Valuable bars, is it? No. All right. You now we want to steal all the loot, but for some reason we can't steal this loot. Can we? Or we can play a little jolly little tune. Oh, hello. Oh wow, we did get a crossbow. Okay, I didn't realize. Alright. So that's taking us north out here. I guess it saves us touching around. No, I was going to say it saves us touching around there, but we need, uh, we need our uh, big rocking horse friend. I have a delivery to make. Yes? Nothing. Anyone there? Is this well, a... Nothing here now. Oh, a door. I do wonder if that's a door I could get into, but... <laughs> Who was that there? I saw something. Not gonna be possible. While our guard friend is hanging out there. Also, we have the tools to deal with that guard friend now, but... I'm not 100% certain. I want to. Okay, I think this guard has seen us. They're the one that came searching for us in the armorers. So they're gonna be uh, not too happy with us. Oh, the butchers isn't even locked. All right, come in here ages ago. Huh? Anybody there? No 
sausage here either. <sighs> I'll wait for them to come back and then follow them through. Lots of sausage. What was that? Just me and my sausage. Everything used to be better. <laughs> when I hear what's being said, I laugh every time. A drudge who is allowed to wash the blood from the walls and to scrape the offal from the slaughtered cattle off the floor. That's what I was before. The pay was so low I could put nothing, absolutely nothing aside. The master craftsman wouldn't even consider teaching me the trade, and his journeyman ridiculed me and made me even more of a mess, which I then had to clean up. And did anybody ever say thank you? But I paid attention, I memorized every movement, and at night I practiced in my little living space. I pitied the poor cats and dogs that I lured from the streets, but I needed something to work on. Ha! Huh. The practice paid off. Paying attention was worth it. And a little theft was more than worthwhile. Yes, the master's secret recipe. He shouldn't have left it lying around in the open. Now it is mine, and the customers are crazy about my products. I took a chance and opened my own shop in this quarter. Business is going very well. Not everything was better in the past. At least not for me. I'm worried now, though. There are wanted posters of that thief all over the city. If it really is as cunning as the city guards claim, I need to protect my money and my recipe. I had to put up with so much to get it. I can't bear to think that someone else might get their hands on it. I will hide it very well. The money and the recipe. room here. We'll have that money thank you. That's a lot of money. And uh, an attic. <laughs> Is this where you hide your secret recipe? Bags of spice. Oh, we're at seven gold away from our uh, target. Recipe book. That's, that's the loot gold we need. That's worth a hundred gold or 150. Not to make any noise. I'm right, following back down the stairs. Painting. Yes. Is someone there? Yes. Have oh, you noticed all your sausages have gone vanished? Gone vanished. Gone missing. They have vanished and gone missing, but not gone vanished. the knives. Okay. We're done with Laboucherie. Okay, I could go down the back door of the armor there again, but I don't think we quite want to do that just yet. Back to the green bruises in a minute.
Where's my key? You know what, I think, given we have another mission and a long voyage and we're going to need food, I might just take the food. They've still got plenty, I'm only taking one from every uh, crate there. They'll be fine, and they have... We can sell the rocking horse. <laughs> sorry, sorry, that's not what I meant to do. But yeah, let's take out 37 and have all their tomatoes back. Whoops, I didn't mean to eat one of them. I guess we're not going to put the rocking horse on the table, that would be a little, uh, a little strange. We'll put it down beside the table. Where's that doll? All the toys. Oh. Oh. Put something on the plate as well. I mean, it's not waiting for food, right? Interesting. I mean, a birthday cake? Makes sense. Oh, I've got a chocolate cake. Where's the chocolate cake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You truly have a heart of gold. Now Elizabeth can have her birthday party. Yeah, seeing as the doll was kind of standing in front of the teddy bear, let's uh, put the teddy bear there. Oh, not on the chair. On the table. There we go. will be a uh, best birthday party of her life. All right. Now we go out the back door and I'll leave the key behind because I think I'm done here. Alright, he doesn't come down here, that's right. Oh, that's the books, bookshop key. I'd already unlocked it. What am I what am I even thinking? Okay, so there's a place to rope arrow up here, I think. I'm not sure if I remember exactly. can deal with these people now rather than run screaming like a uh, master thief we don't want to leave him anywhere near uh, that's what I wanted to worry about I'll just leave him here by the bench 
I thought I would get away with uh, that dash into the light, but I didn't. Alright, does this work? I'm not 100% sure this is going to work. <laughs> it doesn't work. It makes the right sound, but it doesn't uh, make a rope like a climb. Toy trains? Another invisibility potion, alright. This uh, might come in handy. Is that everything here? Do I look on top of the beams? Oh, you know what? I don't even need to use a rope. Beautiful. Down, maybe I take a bit of damage. Maybe not if I'm careful. <coughs> wow, a lot of damage. And now I can certainly check this fountain properly, right? Yeah, nothing. Okay. So we're done, I'm going to go back to the weapon shop, but we're done up here, I'm done with the bookshop. I think we're done with this entire side of the river here. I could go back to the hiding place and check those beams, but I seriously doubt there's going to be anything there. Right, if we head west there, that just takes us through to the market. Who's going to have the cemetery key? Have I been in this house? Or is it not actually a house? It's not a real door. You got a key too. Oh, you've got the cemetery key. Guess it was nothing. Oh, that's good. I didn't realize you were carrying a key. I've seen you walk by many times and never seen a key on your belt. I have no reason to suspect you had the cemetery key. It's, you're not going anywhere near the cemetery. I suppose I am not displeased by this discovery. This is this. This is locked. Never mind. There's no one here. I mean, that's not going to be the cemetery key, right? It's certainly not going to be Bill's key. But... Or you can just run through my keys. It's a duck shop, man. Oh, well, it's Lisa's. Lisa's flowers. I've got Lisa's key. I've been there. I'm just foolish. And did I take the food here? I didn't check that. The fish. We've been down here. Oh yeah, here's the cemetery. All right. We can go and explore now. Maybe we'll find out what's happening here next episode. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.